Last week, we looked at the greatest All Blacks midfield and the expert panel of Phil Gifford, Ken Laban, Ricky Swinell and myself went with Ma Anonu at second five and Bruce Robertson at centre. You, the public, agreed with us at second five, but you went with two-time World Cup winner Conrad Smith at centre. Well, to break the impasse, we chatted with Sir Graham Henry and he agrees with you. So, the greatest All Blacks midfield is Ma'anonu and Conrad Smith. Mialamu got his pass off beautifully. Now, Nonu up the middle. Ma'anonu, can he make it? He's going to make it. He will go down as one of our most amazing All Blacks. He could do the things that Jonah did, as well as Cully. Great step and developed a, a pass and a kick like no other. He always gave everything for the jersey. It was about the team being successful and what he could do to help. And, and the other thing I really liked is he, he didn't just toe the line, he, he'd speak up about uh, things he didn't agree with or, or he thought would contribute to help the team. And because of his actions, yeah, people respected that. As Carter sends it on to Nonu, he in turn finds Dag, Dag into a bit of a gap, pops it over the top for Reed. Jane is there, Reed ignored him, but he gave it to Nonu, and Martin Nonu scores. Not getting in, that 07 team hurt him. Uh, he went away and worked on his game, and uh, you know his passing got better, his kicking got better. Uh, his fitness got better, which allowed him to do the things that we needed him to do more often. Um, and, and there was a, just a, a real drive to want to be in the All Blacks. And uh, if you've got the real drive, then you get to use it every day, and it's not a spasmodic thing, it's something that's consistent. He became a more consistent player. Off it goes to uh, Carter, good burst here by Nanu. Nanu! And he's done it! He was a block-busting winger, um, outside back, you know, that if given the ball, he could make things happen. Um, yet that's all he was seen as, um, and he was very good at it. Uh, then he had a couple of setbacks, and he showed that, yeah, that's not going to define, I don't want to finish my career like that. And he developed into the world's best midfielder, you know, as a 12. You know, he developed a passing game, a, a kicking game, um, a great knowledge defensively of strategy. Um, and, you know, you saw his combination with both Dan and Conrad Smith. You know, and, and you know what they've been able to achieve in terms of you know winning World Cups. You know, there was a there's a group of guys that easy to name straight away. The ones that you wanted to play alongside because you could trust them. Quick hands for Smith. Conrad Smith running great lines. Smith, he's got support. He'll do it himself. Conrad Smith, what a try! You know, he's the ultimate competitor, is what I've learned from uh, watching Conrad. I used to yellow card, Conrad Smith at touch. You know, training, he was that competitive. It's, it's how they are, they, they, they hate losing. More than that, they hate them themselves and they hate letting the team down. Now it's better away for Collins, quick hands to Smith. Smith gliding, Smith! Hard man to pull away and Conrad Smith scores for the All Blacks. When he started, he, was, he wasn't that big for a, for a centre, you know, at that time, but man, by the end, his impact, because of the way he understood the game and, you know, defensively, even if he's against bigger fellas, he knew where to be, how to uh, work with others to ensure that there was no gaps, all those sort of things, and, and knew the right options to take. Uh, I think that's what set him apart from, from most others. Carter. Carter puts the little kick in. Here come the chasers! Again, his courage is really what sets him apart. You know, you add to that his quickness of thought. You know, like he might not have been the fastest player, but he was very smart around understanding that strategic part of the game and knowing where to be at the right time and then seeing plays unfold and where the best position to be in to support, make a tackle, get the ball back. You know, again, his growth in all that area. You know, you, you know I think that's what sets him apart from a lot of other midfielders. He had the ability to make people look good around him as well. And, and the way he directed and, and led a back line was really remarkable and, and probably doesn't get enough kudos for the impact he had. The 215 World Cup, what a wonderful trio of midfielders we had. All had 
little differences in their game, uh, but combined well with each other. Just from a leadership point of view, he was brilliant in terms of helping our team, you know, with how we were going, and but also how he helped people around him. So Graham Henry plays tiebreaker and gives it to Conrad Smith. Ma Anonu um, Mills, you played in the All Black midfield. Uh, Chelsea will come to you in a minute as well as an international midfielder. But between these two, look, the recency bias we knew about, but you can't argue with their performances in the All Black jersey, particularly through the 2000s. No, definitely not. And they, they sort of formed a, a really fierce sort of combination, two contrasting styles. Really, you had, you know, Ma, um, you know, who would track things up and was really um, robust in terms of that. You know, Snakey, um, you know, he was a really real distributor with a bit of um, bit of bit of gas. But yeah, you're right. You know, Bruce Robinson, he was an outstanding, uh, you know, centre as well. But you know, when I look back to my time with these guys, particularly, they, it took them a while uh, to sort of understand each other. And thankfully enough, um, you know, they had that with uh, with with the Hurricanes, and then they've just formed a really really nice combination. So. Um, I suppose in my eyes, well, well deserved. Chelsea, yeah, the, I'm, I'm... The Conrad, yeah, Conrad Smith. I want to ask you about Conrad Smith or, or the fact that when I watched him play, it was just he appeared to be to be one of the smartest rugby players on the field and sneaky quick. Yeah, he was. I mean, I'm probably a little bit biased with with my favourite midfield All Black simply because of my age and I've seen those two play in the midfield for. Um, most of my life. So growing up, Ma'anonu was my favourite All Black um, because he, he he started out quite one-dimensional, but it, as his co career went on, he grew to be such a great All Black with, with many different attributes. So he's always been a legend in my eyes. And yeah, like you said, Conrad Smith, he's um, he's a master. He, he's so... I love watching him play because he doesn't actually have that much razzle as, as a lot of centres do. But he had the ability to just get on the outside of players and he had such a great awareness of, of where his outsides were and where his support players were that he could get on the outside and put others in space. So, um, yeah, I, I love that midfield combo. Exciting and 100% agree with it. JK, though, Bruce Robinson was a special and unique player. And look, you know, I only saw footage of him. Um, but you talk to anybody, and, and our experts always agreed as well, the fact that there was something special about him. And he would have been a player that, no doubt with his skill set, surely would have transcended the errors. Yeah, not, look, not that dissimilar to, to Conrad Smith. Um, you know, really, he used to glide through gaps. And one of the first centres to hold the ball in both hands, um, just a beautiful distributor. I think probably what got um, Ma and Conrad across the line was the combination. I think I love the combination. I love both those players. I think, uh, you know, I think both Conrad and Ma were outstanding, two different styles. When you look at some great players and you look at players that have been hard to replace and we've been on that constant search for someone to step into that 13 jersey and that's, I think, a mark to how great Conrad Smith was, how reliable and efficient and great defensively he was because that is one of the hardest positions to play 